Hello and welcome to the Growth Podcasts. Here is your host, RJ. Hi guys, welcome back to the Growth Podcast. As you are aware, you can listen to the podcast on all our podcast platforms and as well as watch it on the, our YouTube channel. Today, I want to speak to you about improving performance through positive thinking. There are two elements to this topic, namely behavior and thinking. Positive thinking is making a conscious effort to think with an optimistic attitude and anticipate positive outcomes. On the other hand, positive behavior means purposely acting with energy and enthusiasm. When you think and behave positively, you guide your mind toward your goals and generate matching mental and physical energy. Understand it? You direct your mind. Positive thinking and behavior are often deciding factors in landing a top job, like a third job, a promotion or change of jobs, whatever career steps you are targeting. The function of your subconscious is to support your thoughts and behaviors by triggering matching psychological responses. The Growth Podcasts, broadcasting worldwide. To get all the free resources you need to grow your business, visit www.onlinegrowthchannel.com www.onlinegrowthchannel.com for 100% free resources. Research has proved that positive thinking and behavior have a powerful impact on personal performance, confidence, and even health. Positive thinking causes the brain to generate matching positive chemical and physical responses such as increased mental alertness and physical energy, improved respiration and circulation and increased beneficial endorphins. Positive thinking actually boosts your ability to perform and project enthusiasm, energy, competence and confidence. The qualities interviewers look for when they hire and promote candidates. Now, negative thinking on the other hand, causes the brain to stimulate matching negative chemical and physical responses such as increased blood pressure, reduced mental alertness, increased anxiety, decreased physical energy and what we know as the flight or fight reaction and responses you are listening to the growth podcasts are you interested in doing an online tourism business course please visit tourismbusinessonline.com tourismbusinessonline.com for affordable and quality websites visit www.ogcwebsiteagency.com www.ogcwebsiteagency.com These responses decrease energy, creativity, and performance, and simultaneously erode self-confidence. Now I'm going to give you a few steps that you can follow to form the habit of positive thinking and to boost your success. Firstly, and this is personally from myself, deliberately motivate yourself every day. Think of yourself as successful, and expect positive outcomes for everything you attempt every day. You know, I had a, a mantra every day I would wake up and I would tell myself as I walk through, yes, 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 you can do it. That's the first thing, deliberately energize yourself. Secondly, project energy and enthusiasm. You know, employers hire people who project positive energy and enthusiasm. Develop the habit of speaking moving 
and acting with these qualities. So, you know, that, that is what you do sort of every day. Those are the two first sticks. You are listening to the Growth Podcasts. Visit www.ogcvideoagency.com for high-quality short videos to market your services or products on social media. www.ogcvideoagency.com Now the first two steps that I've given you to follow is, first of all, deliberately motivate yourself every day. Secondly, project energy and enthusiasm. Now the third step is to practice this mindset of positive energy, of deliberately motivating yourself until it becomes a habit. You know, applicants who project enthusiasm and positive behavior generate positive chemistry that drops off on other people. Hiring decisions are largely influenced by this positive energy. This habit will help you to reach your peak potential and achieve ultimately success. Now the last step I want to give you is to dwell on past successes. Focus on past successes to remind yourself of your ability and your abilities. This will help you to attain your goals. It does no good to yourself or your future if you dwell on past negative events. Dwell on the successes so that you can by that increase and motivate yourself. Who cares? For example, that you have dealings with ungrateful people, ungrateful individuals who abused you, you who used you. Who cares about that? And who the people who took advantage of your good nature. Who cares about that? Focus on the successes and don't dwell on the past. Focus on the future and you will get there. Focus on the past and you will relive and repeat it. So focus on the future. As an example of focusing on past successes, let me tell you this, no one is ever born learning how to ride a bicycle or certainly how to repair or diagnose computer problems. Nobody is born with that. Likewise, nobody is born with a positive attitude, positive thinking. It's something that we learn and we practice it continuously until it becomes a habit. And this will help you and drive you. Something that I personally experience. Remain positive despite and irrespective of the negative situation that you find yourself in. That brings us to the end of this episode. Please like or follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and subscribe to our YouTube channel and podcast platforms. The Growth Podcasts is broadcasted once weekly, every Thursday at 3 p.m. Beijing time, GMT plus 8. Until next time, please stay safe and be blessed. Till we meet again.